Good afternoon, everybody. This is Michael T. I'm a product advisor here at Trento Kia, and today we're going to be going over the 2022 2023 Kia EV6. First off, let's start off with how amazing this Kia EV6 looks in the front end. This vehicle is an all electric vehicle. That's right, you heard it here first. There's no engine or anything like that. It's all electric. But bringing you up to the front of the vehicle, let's take a look at these beautiful LED headlights. They look amazing and they also flow in with the whole front fascia of the entire vehicle as well. Now, if I take you over to the side of the vehicle, we have some really, really, really exciting stuff too. As you can see, the Kia EV6 is also equipped with 20 inch alloy wheels, black with silver, and they look amazing. Now, if I bring it up a little bit, we can see here on the Kia EV6, they've also included these beautiful side mirrors as well with these special cutouts and the lights on them as well as they have the matching side skirts that are also blacked out. One of the most important things of the Kia EV6 is where are the door handles? But the door handles, they pop in and they pop out. Now, if we do a quick run around to the other side of the vehicle here, we can see that now we have our back side of the vehicle. This is the most important part of the electric vehicle right here. That's our charging port. So not only does it come with a level one charger as well, you have the tab here that you can take it off to also additionally put in the level two charger as well. As you can also see, we have this beautiful, beautiful LED bar design all the way going across the rear of the vehicle. And now the most important thing, let me take you inside the Kia EV6. Now, if we take a deeper dive into the interior of the EV6, the one thing that we can say is the seating position is really, really comfortable in this vehicle. And there's a lot of headroom as well for people that are tall like myself. I'm 6'1", so the seating position for me, it feels really, really good. But more inside the interior, if we come a little bit forward, you can see Kia has these new steering wheels that they have with specific vehicles that are designed with no, uh, no, nothing in between the middle of the steering wheel. It really makes, uh, really makes a unique uh, driving experience here, right? As well as we have our drive mode button and um, various other buttons on the steering wheel with our phone controls, volume rocker as well. If I take you over here to this side, you can see that we have our, uh, we have our automatic trunk opener as well as the opener for our uh, charging port in the back, as well as our parking brake and traction control to be turned uh, on or off as well. This button is also used to illuminate uh, the, uh, the display here to see how far, uh, to see how much uh, you want it to be uh, bright in your, uh, in your face. So uh, yeah, there's a lot of really good features here, but uh, let's take it uh, deeper into where the screen area is and everything else in here. Now, if we take a look inside the EV6, you can see that we have our seats here that are not just powered up for the driver's side, but they're also powered for the passenger side as well. So you get the full power support, even being the passenger in the EV6, as well as it includes lumbar support and back support for your back as well, which makes the back of the seat increase outward and inward, as well as as you can see, we have our big floating center console right here that has our gear, our, uh, gear changer with all of our gears, 
We have all of our seat controls here for our heated and cool seats, as well as our heated steering wheel. And we have our on button as well for the vehicle. Now, the most important part about obviously all the technology is how it is controlled. So if we take a look over here, we have our screen, our beautiful two 12 and a quarter inch displays that have a lot of options and a lot of room to play with on the EV6. As you can see, we have our full displays here and our full displays, one of them is completely interactive as well. This way, we're just using the guest profile right now, but as you can clearly see, it shows your battery as well as your different EV modes. You have a special ballet mode, quiet mode. Obviously, you have your uh, navigation as well as Kia Connect and a bunch of other additional features. So with that, you also have this other screen that is connected on the lower portion which has two exciting features one which can control all of the features from the navigation system or you can change it over and have everything controlled with the climate controls and now if we move it a little bit further down here we can see that they also gave us a usb port and also this is a usb fast port as well and you can see as well, we have our beautiful armrest here. Nice design. And now I can take you further into the back. So as you can clearly see, now we're in our back seat of the interior of the EV6. And the thing is that this vehicle is very comfortable. Even with the seating position almost all the way back here, I still have a lot of room for myself and a lot of headspace as well, even in the back seat. And if we take it over to the door panel, we can see that we have our heated seats in the rear, as well as our premium sound system below. Now let's take this a little bit further and move it back inside the trunk so we can see how much space this thing really has. And now let's take a look at the trunk size of the EV6, because we all know it's, uh, it's a crossover, right? So it's got to have some pretty, uh, pretty decent trunk room. So if we take a look inside of our trunk here, it's pretty big. We have a pretty good sized trunk here. As well as we have this right here, which can cover any items that are going inside of the trunk. If you don't want anybody to look inside your hatch and see what's, uh, what you're putting inside there. And one of the most exciting things about the Kia EV6 is the fact that, no, not the fact that it doesn't have an engine, but the fact that it has storage in the front. Look at this. We have a nice storage cabinet right here, and it's not too bad. You can fit something nice in here, maybe a laptop or something, but people always wonder, why is this not as deep as the other model, which is the rear wheel drive short range, and that is because of the batteries. Because the batteries are all underneath the vehicle, Batteries take up space in the front as well, equals less storage in the front as well. But at least we have some, which is really useful and really good as well. This has been a brief overview on the 2022 slash 2023 Kia EV6. If you have any more questions or you guys want any more information on Kia products like this, you can message me, Michael T at Michael T at TrentoKia.com. That's my email, or you guys can give us a call at 416-740-8800. Thanks again for watching.